what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. I am so excited today because it's the first time that I'm going to be able to drive the Honda Civic Type R. It's its first presence in North America. I know everywhere in the world it's the ninth generation, but here, yep, we're excited. Look at that car. Interesting, huh? Do you like the style? I know some people, oh, I don't like it's too much. Well, before judging, please watch the review of the exterior of the Honda Civic Type R. So we've got the white Honda Civic Type R and for this year, Canadian will have only two color choice. It's either going to be black or this one. And I know if you're going to the States, our friends around there got many more choice, but still I don't, I don't really mind with the contrast of the black and white that you're going to see right here up front in the car. You've got that aluminum hood with a functional hood scoop and you're going to see this is really lightweight. Look at the contrast of the, of the black and the white and the lights that you're going to see there. This car means business. It's really aggressive. You've got also the red logo right here, the Type R mentioned right there on the side. You're going to see those big opening the, in the grill for that intercooler turbo engine power. And yes, you're going to see that carbon finish with the red stripe right there. LED lights, LED blinkers, LED fog lights. There's a little plastic though, it's crowded up in front. And you're gonna see also some holes and they're functional to bring hair to that really aggressive mechanical components that you're gonna see on the car. So the Honda Civic Type R is a little bit larger than the regular Civic hatchback, a little bit than, more than three inches. You're gonna see that big windshield which doesn't have any security feature up there. This is going to be perfect for top visibility on the track. There's no sunroof, perfect for rigidity, and you're going to have those nice vortex generator. Every part on the Honda Civic Type R is there to give you the better roll handling possible and the better grip possible. Drag coefficient, name it, you want to hug the road with that car. Look at that spoiler, that nice mix of white and black, looking like a little bit uh, like Battlestar Galactica though. <laughs> Around the window, some nice uh, black accent. You will have a really large mirror because this is gonna be where you're gonna find, you're gonna find your lane watch system. And right there, while you look at the side of the car, wow. Really impressive. And how about those black wheels? 20 inches, major, huge, 245, 30, 20. Those are performance tire, continental tires, major brake also, more than 13 inches up front, 13.7. And you've got also the red logo that you're gonna find. And how about those glossy wheel? And right now I'm quite surprised that I don't see any dent on those. You know the road around here in Quebec are really bad. It's even worse in Montreal. I don't know for the United States, but hey, feel free to share. Nice carbon finish addition right here. Once again, the skirt also, the carbon finish going all the way up to the rear. Nice and discreet line right here. Little curve at the hand. Black accent right there on the rear lights. And yes, once again, perfect wheels. The rear section, now this is where it's even more crowded. You've got a kind of dual spoiler, the big one right here, a little one right there uh, down in the windows. And you've got a wiper. This is gonna be perfect to help you see when you're gonna do your reverse maneuvers or to see who's in the rear view mirror. VTEC Turbo Mansion, still a red logo, the Civic Mansion right here, and you've got also another Type R Mansion right there on the side. Too much plastic when it comes to this section there, but look at that. Right there in the middle of the diffuser, you've got not one, not two, but three different exhaust pipes, and they're all functional. 
And you've got also the rear view camera, which is right there. When you open the trunk, easy access, nice and big storage space. For a sport compact car, it's kind of impressive. So let's go right here to turn on the lights. We're gonna have to be quick though, right there with the blinkers also. And you can see the LED lights right there. Nice and powerful blinker, fog light right here. The blinker is gonna be right there on the side of the mirror. And let's get to the rear before they turn off. And yes, still the use of LED except for the blinker. So, impressive, huh? really unique. And that's gonna be interesting to see what will cops do with that triple exhaust system. <laughs> So there's been a lot of comment on my Facebook page and my Instagram telling me that hey, it's probably one of the top worst car in design of the year 2017. I'm not sure about that. You've got to know that every part, every curve, the spoiler, I know you're going to look like a kid with its hat on the side while you're going to be driving the Civic. But there's a reason for those parts. It's aerodynamics. It's there to hug the road and give you the better experience when you're going to be driving this piece. So feel free to comment in the section down there below. Do a thumbs up because you like the video and will like also to go up in the search result. And don't forget to subscribe to Car Question because next time we're going to talk about the interior of that car, the Honda Civic Type R.